Hello and welcome to Swashbuckling with Code. I'm Jimmy Cleveland and I want to show you a Jest plugin that I love to put in all of my projects that run Jest. So I have a basic project set up here, just a real basic Jest setup, nothing fancy. And what I want to show you is a scenario uh, that happens that I usually use the regex patterns in Jest to search for and how you can make that actually a little bit better. So uh, in this project, I'm going to run the npmt to run my test command. And then I'm going to add on this dash dash watch command so I can just do watch all. And then I'm going to press A just to show you that when I run all the tests, um, I have, let me scroll up a bit, I have a couple of passes, but then I have these two suites that failed. So I have this, you know, does the mu did not in fact mu. Well, that's an obvious fail. And then I also have this dinosaur should call you on your birthday, which they should do, um, but the dinosaur forgot about you. Uh, don't worry about why is in 2003, you know, error messages are rarely helpful. So... What I want from this is I want to press W, and I usually use this uh, press P to filter by file name if I can narrow it to a file name. And so I'll, I'll show you that first. This is just native Jest behavior that you get out of the box. It's really nice. And so what I want is I want to say, okay, well, I, I want to run, let's say, the woof test suite. So when I press there and then enter on that, um, it'll work. And, and now I have that as my filter, and then I can kind of just hone in on just uh, let's say, this particular file because I want to ignore the other ones. Why you might be in this situation, if you're wondering, uh, just real quick, is that sometimes uh, you're like refactoring your code or you updated a bunch of packages or something and a bunch of tests are failing and you're really just trying to like isolate one at a time. It can be really useful for that. And there's a bunch of other situations too. It just, it usually comes up for me. So when I press W here, you can see the active filters. Uh, it has this file name, woof filter. But what I would really like is for when I'm typing my filter, like I don't really know exactly every little keyword and every little test and, and all the files to filter on. So it's nice if I could get some help there. So let me show you that. Um, what we can do is we can install this uh, plugin. We're going to do it with, as a dev dependency. And it's just watch type ahead. Now, in order to use that, we're going to need to configure it real quick. So... Um, just so I can keep this all in the terminal for this brief video, uh, I'm going to use nvim and I'm going to create a jest.config.js. You can use, you know, obviously vim or nano or your VS code is where I'd normally be doing it. But I'm just going to create that file. And then I'm going to do module.exports equals your standard, you know, config file format. Uh, in this case, you're going to put watch plugins here. And you can look this up on the, I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you want to use the plugin. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. But just so you know, uh, just watch. We're going to do type ahead here. And then we want to do it for file name. And then you're going to do the same thing. Just watch type ahead for, uh, in this case, it's test name. And if I did that right, let's put a closing bracket here. And then I'll just, you know, write that escape, sorry. So now that I've done that, so you can see, um, we now have a jest config right here that I've added. And here's just, all my tests are just in the root right here for the simple project. So now when I run test dash 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 watch, so if I filter by file here, if I just start typing, let's say I type test, uh, these are all my test files. And so that's really neat. It'll just like list them out. And so I can just type a couple letters and automatically get that completed. So let's say I want to go to the Coco test suite. I just press enter there. And there you can see the full Coco test suite. It's only running that. Uh, I left the errors in the other one. So you could see that it's bypassing all the other ones very obviously. And I could go back here and I could leave that filter if I want. But in this case, I'm going to clear it. But then let's say I also want to, um, you know, use it for the test pattern. So that was T to get to the test pattern. I'll go back actually, just so you can see. So, you know, P to do a file name here, T to do a filter on a test name. So let's press T here then and go into here. And if I just start, start typing should, uh, I'll see all of my should tests and more. So I have to narrow it down, you know, solve the hardest puzzle in this case. Um, I don't know why I have two of those. That's kind of weird. But uh, you could also just like type, you know, one, one part of the word toward the end or anything like that. If you just want to run that one singular test, that'll work. Just a quick note, uh, if you do get into a situation where, let's see if I can replicate it real quick. Sometimes if I go to search for a file name, so let's say we did our Cocoa test once again, I do this, I clear my filters, 
Um, you'll see it's no tests found related to last changes. This is an interesting thing because now if you go to uh, filter this, you might not get um, anything. And that's because it's not running all the tests. It's like Git hasn't seen any changes uh, since the last thing. And so uh, if you ever are in that situation, just in general, you can press A to run all the tests again. And then when you press T or P or whatever you're using, uh, you start typing in and it should work. Just so you know, uh, that, that's just a weird oddity that I've never figured out how to completely clear up. But that shows off the plugin pretty well, I think. Uh, you know, you can you can always get out of here and run all the tests if you want to see that. But you can also hone in on a particular test. So it's very easy for me to go into here and say, you know, type in my mu does the mu. And I just want to look at this one test and I don't want to see anything else while I'm trying to get it to pass. And I think that that is a really fantastic plugin and it just really helps out uh, extend the functionality that Jest already brings to the table. So hope you like that plugin and I'll see you next time.